Hi again everyone. So I thought I would come on really quick today with a empties video and I realize I haven't done one of these in like forever, like in ages. So I had stored up a whole bunch of stuff um, a while back thinking I would do an empties video and then it just got to be way too much stuff and I couldn't stand looking at it anymore so I tossed it all. So then I thought I'll save my empties again and I'll, I'll do an empties video. So here I am with my empties video. So I'm not gonna you know, start any, it's random. It, I've got a bag full of stuff here to show you. So I like to watch these videos just to get like reviews on products maybe that I've seen on YouTube or that I've heard about. So hopefully you will appreciate this video too, but um, you know, if, you, if you're not into these kinds of videos then feel free to switch it off and jump to another video. But anyways, um, I'll start with the Shiseido um, Facial Cotton. Oh my God. These, these are awesome. I don't know how many packs of these I've used. This might be my fourth pack, I'm not sure, could be more. Um, they're just like really soft, they're rectangular cotton cloths, like I use it with my toner, I use it to um, take off my eye makeup remover, like with my eye makeup remover, so they're awesome. I don't recommend these for taking off nail polish because I think they're too soft, but for doing like your toner or um, yeah, like your makeup remover and stuff. These things are so soft, they're really nice. So I saw these on YouTube and it's one of those things that once I tried, I'm completely hooked. Like I can't use anything else. So I have those. And then I finished a body wash by um, Pink Papaya, which I don't know if I should show you guys this or not because um, this is like a home party type product. So I had a Pink Papaya party maybe like a year ago. Um, it's kind of like the, along the lines of like the body shop type thing, but they do home parties. And this was really nice. It was a body and bath wash, and I can't remember the scent. Oh, it was an exotic. Really nice lather, smelled really good. I would repurchase again, um, but I have so many body washes to go through that, you know, I gotta get through what I got. Okay, and then I also used up by the body shop, speaking of, a spiced vanilla bath and shower gel and I had this in my stock for probably I would guess a couple years finally I pulled it out and decided to use it um, I like the formula of this this is a nice body wash but the scent it was just a really light scent which I know a lot of people probably like a light scent um, I wish it just would have smelled a little bit more like the vanilla because it was really I like my whole bathroom when I'm using like my body washes I like the whole bathroom to smell like the scented body wash and that was just a very light fragrance so if you like light fragrance you probably like that okay then I also used up by a cure which I've never even heard of before they were unscented argan oil um, cleansing towelettes so I use these at night to take off my makeup I traded for these, I believe, on my subscription addiction, and um, they were fine. They were fine. I noticed it says unscented. They actually did have a scent to them, and it really wasn't a very pleasant scent. I don't know why that would be. I don't know if it was from the argan oil. I'm not sure. Uh, I wouldn't repurchase them because of. I just thought they kind of smelled funky, but I like that they had plenty of, um, they were really moist, you know, they weren't dry. I can't stand a dry face wipe. I just can't stand that. And they had a good amount of, um, what do you call it? I guess moisture in them. So that was good. Okay. Then I also used up, um, oh, I bought like a five pack of these. It's a collagen face mask, a sheet mask. Um, I got these, It was they came in a five pack um, at TJ Maxx. Yeah. And it's supposed to help with skin elasticity, anti-wrinkle, and moisturizing. And actually, I've only used it once, but I, I really liked, I thought it was nice. It was really nice. It felt really nice on my skin. In fact, I almost fell asleep. Of course, I did do this at night, like right before bed. I put the sheet mask on my face. I went and laid down, and I told myself, okay, I'll just lay here for like 20 minutes. And I almost fell asleep. I mean, I was just, I was tired anyways. But it felt really cooling and really nice on my face. And I have to say, when I got up and I removed the mask and everything, I did think my skin, the funny thing is, I don't know necessarily about like, you know, from one time use, like the elasticity or the anti-wrinkle effect, but my skin did seem like brighter 
and more radiant. And I was thinking to myself, instead of using it at night before bed, I should use one of these like in the morning before I get ready um, on a day that I want to look particularly like bright and radiant or something. So um, I was really happy with these. And I think I bought like, like I said, a five pack for like $6 or something. So I'm looking forward to trying the other ones or they're all the same kind, but I'm looking forward to using them. Okay. And then I also used up this Alme oil-free gentle eye makeup remover. Okay, I don't know why they call this a gentle eye makeup remover. And I did use, um, I did use it up. But I gotta tell you, this stuff burned the heck out of my eyes. I don't know what's in it. Um, I do have a problem with this though, because, or with eye makeup removers in general, because I remember I had bought one from the body shop. It was like their chamomile or something. And it was supposed to be really like gentle and calming and all this other stuff. And my eyes burned really bad with that one too. So I don't know, I guess this really burned my eyes, but I made sure I used it up. I mean, which I think is kind of silly. If it burns your eyes, why would I feel like I had to use it? I just felt like I had to use it. Um, but I've been, since finishing this up, I've been using the, um, is it called, is it pronounced Cogendo? I got it from Sephora during their, their sale, um, actually back in like November. And I just now, because I just ran out of this, I'm starting to use it. And I have had no burning effects at all with that stuff. In fact, it removes your eye makeup amazingly well, way better than this did, because I feel like with this, it still left um, mascara and even some of my uh, eyeliner. It did pretty good with the eyeshadow, but the Kojan Doe stuff, it really takes off your makeup. I'm really happy with that. It is pricey, but I'm thinking it's well worth it if it you know, doesn't burn my eyes and gets rid of all my eye makeup. Okay, and then I also used this Terra Mare, or I don't, how do you pronounce that? Terra, M-E-R-E. -E. I bought this off of Hot Look a long time ago. I probably showed it in a haul, but I swear it was probably a year ago, if not more. Um, I finally used up the anti-aging, it's a toner, the Aloe and Tea Tree Toner. And at first I was put off by this because I could not get the pumper to work. I just could not get it to work. So I was having to unscrew the cap, use it on my cotton swab. It was just kind of a pain in the butt. But weirdly enough, after I had used about maybe like that much of it, like that much, I tried using it again, like with the pumper in, and all of a sudden it started working. So then it was much easier to use and then I tended to like it a lot better. But I would not repurchase this necessarily. It was a nice, let's see the lights coming in through the window. Um, it's a nice toner, there was nothing wrong with it. It's just I, I do like to try new products and stuff and it wasn't like a product that really blew me away, but it was fine for what it was. Okay, that light is kind of weird, I'm sorry guys. It's reflecting off of our metal um, barbecue out there so it's kind of odd. And anyways, I feel like I look really tan today, not to get off on a tangent because I have a lot to go through and I'm already at eight minutes. But for Mother's Day, I got the, from Benefit Cosmetics, I got the, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's like got five, five, I think it was five, like blushers and bronzers in one palette. It was like a Benefit, it's like a blushing blush palette. I, I can't believe I can't think of what it's called. I did ask for it, I did want that. I just, I didn't need it, believe me, I did not need it. But I just was trying to think of something that the kids could get me and my husband. So I'm wearing the Hula today and then the um, Coralista on my cheeks. And wow, I just feel like I look really, really dark and bronzed, but it could be the lighting as well, I'm not sure. Anyways, back to uh, the empties. So this was by It Cosmetics and it was the um, Tight Line. Tight line, full lash length, um, like a primer. And the reason I bought this was, is I had seen this on Tiffany D's channel. And I, again, this was, I'm sure, over a year ago. And she had bought it. And what I thought was cool about it was, um, do you see how small the wand is and the bristles? I think it's supposed to be more of like a lash primer that you put on before you put on your mascara. But it is. this is black. And what I was using it for was just my lower lashes and I really did like it for that. Um, but it, I felt like it dried out quickly, but then again, I was good about using it for a while and then I stuck it in a drawer and forgot about it. And so when I recently pulled it out, it was kind of dry. So that's really my, I'm sure it's my, my problem, my fault. 
But I have used something recently that I do like better, and it's by um, Tarte. And it is, um, the brush is really tiny, and I wish I could, I should have brought it down. But um, it's a lower lash mascara, is what I'm trying to say, from Tarte, that I do like better than this. So I don't know that I would repurchase this because I found something better, but there was nothing wrong with this. It was fine. Then I used up a pumpkin latte and marshmallow um, comfort body wash from Bath and Body Works. This stuff was amazing as far as the scent. I mean, all of their body washes to me, I mean, they all just kind of lather the same and everything, but oh my God, the smell of this was so, so, it was wonderful. It was, it was, it was pretty awesome. I wish I would have bought more than one. I don't have any of the scent in my backup stash or whatever. And um, I hope they bring it back next year because I'm pretty sure I can't find it now at this time of year. So I'm planning on getting again in the fall if they bring it back. Okay, and then I also used up by Ole Henriksen African Red Tea, African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. I really like this stuff. I got this, um, it was part of like an Ole Henriksen kit that I had. And yes, I would consider purchasing the full size. I have other face washes that I'm needing to use up right now, but I really did like this. It had a very nice citrusy scent to it, which I really enjoyed. And um, I thought it was really nice. And yeah, I would use that again. Pretty much everything I've used from that brand, I really enjoy. Oh, I need to let my dog out. Okay, and sticking on the same lines as um, what we, what I, Ole Henriksen, these were the, um, the Clean Truth Cleansing Cloths. They're brightening vitamin C and CoQ10. Um, they're to cleanse, brighten, and hydrate. So this was like a sample pack that came in that kit that I got the cleanser in. Can I get over that light? That light just is driving me crazy. Um, anyways, these were really nice too. I really, really like these. In fact, these have a really nice, also citrus smell to them, like an orange scent to them. And I was at TJ Maxx and they actually had like five packs of these, five individual packs of these on clearance for like two bucks. So I bought them up um, because these are great to take like on vacation or travel. So anyways, yeah, I would recommend those. Those are nice. Okay. And I used up a Sebastian Stylebird 9 multi-benefit hairspray. Just a small can. I'm sure I got this in one of my subscription boxes. I did really like this and that's why I used it up so quickly because... I find that um, as I'm getting older, I don't like the really heavy, sticky hairsprays. This was really like a fine mist, and um, I could run my fingers through my hair, so I like that. I don't like my hair to look like really crunchy and hard, and I need to do something with my hair, but anyways, I just like the, where it just seems like you're not using hairspray, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, and then I also used by Ole Henriksen. I pretty much used everything in that kit, I think. Um, I might have one other product, though. But this was the Lemon Strip Fat Flash, Lemon Strip Flash Peel, and I really like this. I use this once a week on Saturdays, and um, I had never really used a peel before. I mean, I, I guess that's not true. Um, I have something from Real Chemistry that I bought from Birchbox. I had sampled it through Birchbox, I liked it, so then I bought it um, through Birchbox. But it's not the same thing. Like This is like a gel that you like put all over your face, and then you let it sit for like 10 minutes and the real chemistry, it's also like a gel, but you only like leave it on for like two minutes. Um, this really, really tingled at first, but I think my face adjusted to it and I really liked it. I, I would consider purchasing a full size of this, but um, I am gonna, I'm on the lookout for maybe a better peel, like a little bit stronger is what I'm trying to say, because I do wanna continue using a peel once a week. So um, I'm keeping this in the back of my mind, but I'm looking for something stronger as soon as I get done using my real chemistry one that I have got. Okay, and then more wipes for the face. These were from Marshalls, or yeah, Marshalls. They were $3.99. These were nice. They were just coconut um, cleansing wipes, but I gotta tell you, these were huge. I mean, the size of the towelette was, it was huge. I'm so used to something so much smaller. You could have, and they're makeup removing wipes, but I'm thinking you could have used one of these over your entire body. But they were really moist. I mean, they weren't dry. They had a really good amount of moisture in them. And I really like them. And yes, I would repurchase these if I was at Marshall's. I would. Oh, another pack of, I told you, another pack of the um, Shiseido cotton squares. Love those things. Okay. 
These were two things that were actually fails and I did not use them up, but I couldn't use them up. Okay, and it was kind of disappointing. So the first one is the Derma E Evenly Radiant Brightening Day Cream with SPF 15. I can't remember where I got this. It might've been in my beauty fix or it could have been through Birchbox. Um, it was a really nice like deluxe sample size. Like this has I think half of an ounce in it or something. Okay. I tried to make this work. I tried this for like two weeks. The problem is it goes on really nice. Um, you know, you wash your face. This is your moisturizer to put under your makeup. The problem with it is your makeup just would not sit right on this. It didn't matter what foundation I used, whether it be like a um, tinted moisturizer, a foundation, a powder foundation, it did not matter. When you would put your makeup on top of this, you could see like your makeup, like it would sit in your pores. Like it just looked terrible. In fact, my husband, who never comments on my makeup ever, he just doesn't, he even said to me, what's going on with your makeup? He goes, wow, I can, like I can really see it. It looks really cakey. Like I can see it in your pores. And he never makes comments like that. I was just trying to make it work, but finally after that comment, I was like, okay, I am done with this. Which was funny because the day after I quit using this, he did make another comment. He goes, oh, your makeup looks much better today. So anyways, yeah, I just had, I have to toss this. I think this would be good for somebody who does not wear makeup. Like if you do not wear makeup and you want a good moisturizer with an SPF in it, this, this could work for you. And then um, the hydrating night cream, it's by the same brand. I just didn't feel that this was very hydrating and I felt like, I used this also for a couple weeks, my skin was just not responding well to it. Like it just, I don't know how to describe it, but just the texture and everything about my skin, it just wasn't liking this moisturizer. So I just decided those were two fails for me. And the weird thing is I went out on the Derma E website to see if anybody had made a comment about the vitamin E, you know, like the day cream, like with makeup, like if they've noticed that your makeup doesn't sit well on it. I know everybody was raving about it. Nobody mentioned at all about the makeup or anything. So I thought that was kind of weird. Okay. And then I also used up and I was really sad to use all this up. This stuff was amazing. I can't figure out how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. It's broom. It's French and I can't pronounce that. I don't know if my camera will focus on that. I don't know how to pronounce that. I purchased this at Ulta. Basically, it's, uh, it was a really nice, it was like lavender, but it wasn't just lavender. It had something else mixed in with it. It's called a good night pillow mist. Oh my God, this stuff was so, I mean, I feel like you could almost have worn this as a really subtle, like perfume or cologne. It just smelled amazing. Um, I love spraying it on my pillow at night. I just put it all over the sheets and everything. Oh my God, it was so good. I'm so bummed. Um, I haven't gone out to look to see which I need to, I need to save the bottle to see if I can repurchase this somewhere else um, or even at Ulta. It was on the clearance rack. Originally it was $24. They had it down to clearance for $13.99, but it was really weird when they rang me up for this and I bought this over a year ago. When they rang me up for this, for this there must have been a glitch because it only charged me like a penny. I'm not kidding, it charged me one cent. It was an amazing deal obviously and it, it just, it smelled amazing. Okay, I need to hurry. I also used up another eye makeup remover. Wow, I guess I've had these um, empties for a while. Dual action makeup remover, which I purchased at Jean Merez. Um, I was in having a facial and I was talking to the gal about eye makeup remover, eye makeup remo removers. She recommended this one and I did not think that it was anything special. Um, it didn't burn my eyes though, I have to say that. It did not burn my eyes. Uh, and it removed the eye makeup okay, but it still did leave a little bit of the uh, eyeliner and mascara. Okay, I used up a Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter. I did not use this all over my body. I only used it on my hands at night before bed. I personally did not care for the scent, so I was super happy that that was gone. But I had that in my stock for a long time because I'm trying to go through a bunch of hand creams. So maybe it, the scent just changed over time. I mean, it did moisturize my hands fine, but the scent was terrible. Okay, I also used up a Bamboo Volume Plumping Strand Expand. Um, it's supposed to make your hair thicker, fuller. Uh, you just put it in towel dried hair and then you blow dry your hair as usual. I did not care for this. I didn't notice that it really did anything at all. Um, I used up a Volume, Seven Day Volume by John Frieda, which I probably got like in a Target Beauty box, something like that. 
I do like this. I do think that this does give my hair volume, believe it or not. Um, so I have another one of these that I'm working through and that's trial size. I, I would consider purchasing the full size because I do think that it does give my hair a little bit of volume. Okay, and I used by the Peter Thomas Roth, the anti-aging cleansing gel, a deluxe size of that, which I've had forever. This came with a couple other products that I bought at Sephora, like in a little kit. And um, it, it was fine. I don't know that I would repurchase a full size. It, it was a fine gel cleanser, but there was nothing spectacular about it. Um, I did use up a Colleen Rothschild vitamin C treatment complex. See, got it all out, vitamin C. I really, really, really do like this product. My husband started using it as well. He loves it. I do notice a difference when I do use it. However, I ran out. They're not having a sale right now and it's like $65 for one of these. So I do have some other products in my stash that I'm trying to use up that are supposed to kind of have the same effect. They're not nearly as good. I really, come on Colleen Rothschild, let's, let's have a sale here because I really want to get another one of those. And the next time they do a sale, I'm going to buy a couple, especially since my husband's using it. Okay, well, I used up one of these. It's a Neo Neocutis Bio Cream, Bio Restorative Skin Cream. This stuff, I felt like, was really, really good. It's really, really expensive. It's by Neocutis. And I think I got this from the germ store when they were doing like a, like a sale, like a 30% off sale or something like that. Um, I really thought my skin did really well with this. Um, it, I felt like I had really good results. And this actually lasted me for months. I wanna say that this probably lasted me a good three to four months, I'm sure of it. But like I said, it was expensive. The only drawback to this was it stunk really bad. Like it didn't have a good smell. In fact, when I would get into bed, my husband would be like, oh my God, that stuff. He goes, it just smells like, he said it just smelled like a dirty diaper. I don't know. I didn't think it smelled that bad. That's what he said. I made him suffer through it though for like three to four months until it was gone because it was expensive and I did think it was working and so I kept telling him, hey, you know, sometimes you just have to like, it's a trade-off for having nice skin and keeping the wrinkles away, but it was kind of funny. So no, I would not repurchase, even with a coupon, I would not repurchase that product because of the smell. Okay, I used up a Darfin Stimul Skin Plus which I got, I think, in a Birch Box or in a Beauty Fix. Um, I think this stuff, this is an expensive brand too. This was fine. I don't think that, it, it, you know, that's right. Which is kind of one of my complaints. Okay, this had a scent, which is a pleasant scent, but it was too perfumey. So, a lot of the face creams anymore are going with, like when they, like fragrance or creams, it's over the top. It's way too scented, too perfumey. That's what I thought about this. Um, was it a good skin cream? Well, there really wasn't. I mean, for the amount that I tried, yes, my skin didn't break out or anything. It seemed to like it. Um, I would not personally go out and spend the money for the full size of this because I know that Darfin, or however you pronounce it, is expensive. And I just really didn't care for how overly scented it was. And on the same lines as that, I used up a L'Oreal Revitalift Triple Power, which I got, I think, like maybe in a Walmart beauty box or something like that, or a Target. Same thing here. Uh, my skin did, I did like like the effects that this had. I th thought my skin reacted to it very well. But again, this stuff had an overwhelming, I mean, it just stinks. It just uh, overwhelming, overwhelming. I don't even know how to describe the smell, but like a perfumey smell, perfumey, um, which I just, I don't care for. So I think I've heard that maybe they have an unscented version of this. So if I were to purchase it again, I would do the unscented version. Okay, I'm trying to hurry because this is getting to be really long. Okay, I think we're down to a few more things. Okay, Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Hairspray. Um, yes, I did like this. I got this in one of my beauty subscriptions. And again, I liked it because it wasn't that sticky hold. It, basically, you didn't even feel that you had it in your hair. I like that kind of hairspray. Okay, this was an Olay Hendrickson. Maybe I did use all the products in that um, little kit because here's another one. The Truth Serum Collagen Booster with Vitamin C. Yes, I did really, really like this, and I would repurchase this, but I do like the Colleen Rothschild one better. Um, I just like the Colleen one a little bit better, but this was really, really good, I thought, for vitamin C. I used a tiny sample of the Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. This is nice, but it, it's basically like the Thomas Roth Cleansing Gel. I mean, I didn't notice any difference. 
So I don't know that I would repurchase it. And then a couple of foil packets. I use the Total Age Defy Night Cream. I don't even know who, oh, the Sephora Night Cream. I only tried a little packet, but it was fine. It was moisturizing, but with one use, I mean, I don't know. I My skin didn't break out or anything. And then I used the um, Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask by Ole Henriksen. This was really, really nice. It was just a one-time use, but this was really, really nice. Like I said, I don't think I've tried anything from that brand that I have not liked. I would consider purchasing the full size of that. I really liked it. And then I used the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. I don't remember being overly, I think it was fine. Um, I don't remember being wowed by it though, so I don't know that I would buy that. And then I used, oh, this was a face mask I bought at Target. And I got like probably four or five uses out of this. And it was only like a buck 99. And I think it's from England. It's K Bella Bath and Beauty Pore Minimizing uh, T-Zone or Full Facial Mask. Okay, like I said, I got like five uses out of this. I just kept it in a Ziploc baggie. Okay, I really like this. Man, my face tingled so bad when I when I would use this mask. I mean, it was on fire for probably 30 seconds and I thought to myself, should I wash it off? Should I wash it off? But I left it on because after about 30 seconds, everything kind of calmed down. But um, I thought this stuff was really, really good. I don't know if it was necessarily pore minimizing, but I felt like my face looked, something about it looked better after using uh, the mask. And I used this once a week for about five weeks and I and I really liked it. Okay, is that everything? I hope that I showed you everything. I think that's it. Wow, that was a lot of um, a lot of empties. Anyways, guys, that was it. If you made it through this like 27 minute long video, thank you. If not, I totally understand. But I did I did just want to make one of these because um, I had to get rid of all this crap that I've been storing up. And like I said, I do like to watch and see what other people are using because I like to switch up my pop. Why can't I talk today? I like to switch up my products. I'm one of those people that I'm not necessarily brand loyal. I am some, sometimes, I just cannot talk. Um, I am sometimes, but I just love trying new things. There are so many products out here in the world and I just, I look forward to finishing up like a product so that I can try something new. And when I watch these empties videos and I get some of these reviews, then it gives me ideas of things that I might want to try, you know, in the future. So anyways, that's enough of me talking. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.